Yeah. I don't think we're going to take it anymore. Yeah. It's too just, big? It's a little it's just, big. No, it's too small. We, we thought it was bigger. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, that's that. Have a good one. We need to build another truck. I'm Lawson and I am personality and videographer slash the person who really edits this whole series uh, and storytells and brings it all to life. So my name is Dustin Korth. I am the uh, divisional manager here at Custom Offsets. I'm also the um, one of the forward facing personalities. So I do all sorts of cool stuff like make YouTube videos, uh, write scripts, get to be in some TikToks here and there. So kind of a, kind of a well-rounded individual have you. Yeah, my name is Anthony Alvarado. I'm the PR and Charities Manager at Custom Offsets. My name is Jared or Junior, as you guys know me from Custom Offsets, and I am the creative lead here at CO. So I'm Banker. I run the garage here. I work on all of the cool vehicles, um, the main one responsible for all these builds. This is going to be literally the biggest thing. We said that with the K350, and now this is going to be the biggest build that we've ever done. And you know, the fact that my team and I are able to capture this whole story and really tell a story to you guys about how it all went and how crazy it is, it's cool, it's fun. It's not, it's not a sit down, it's not a, a, you know, a from the gallery, it's a full blown real life how things go when you're trying to build a truck. This is the first one that conceptually I've been a, a part of since day one, you know, so for me to, to be able to sit in that, that conference room over there and talk with Jared and with Banker and say, what do we want to build? What do we want to buy? How do we want to build it? What parts do we want? What partners do we want? How do we want to do it? What color do we want to do? Like, that's such an exciting thing for me because SEMA is the big dance, right? SEMA is the biggest event when it comes to trade shows in the automotive industry. And so for me to be able to even be a part of that, you know, and, and be able to, to see that come together and help make those critical decisions on that is, is super humbling and, and really exciting for me. So SEMA is like the last restricted, like premier place you can go. Um, so having a vehicle be accepted into that, you know, getting the opportunity to show something off there is, is a big, de big deal for me, you know, as a builder. So I'll build SEMA stuff all day. It just means that we're doing something right. It will be my first time going to SEMA. And from my understanding, this is like the holy grail, the Super Bowl of you know spaces that we want to be in. And to be able to take an exclusive one-off build um, through the collaboration of many partners and many people involved and showcase that in that arena, I mean, that's the best of the best. And to be able to bring the visibility not only to us as an organization, our vendors and our sponsors, but also our charity partners, gives us a prime opportunity to share the story that we really care about our community. I think the fact that this SEMA build now, as the second one that Custom Offsets Archon, whoever you want to call it, has done, uh, this one almost means more than the first one did just because of the, the charities and the partners behind it. But at the same time, we finally have our name and logo on a truck. For SEMA this year, we have a giant Custom Offsets logo built into the wrap, printed into the wrap, and that's going to be displayed on the side of the truck. And this just screams Custom Offsets truck. And so having that there with our logos, with our name, with our partners behind it as some of like the top biggest, baddest in the industry coming together for this truck, I think that's what I'm most excited about and that's going to be the biggest like neat factor to see when we go out to SEMA and we see this thing parked out there and we see all the people around it and all the other cars and trucks there and just how much it's going to stand out, how big it's going to be and how neat it's going to be knowing that we have our name all over this build. We got our performance parts. Basically this is going to make the truck what it should have been from the factory. So we got a cold air intake from Banks. All of this is going to be from Banks. Pedal Monster. Yep. That's what I thought. There's an unboxing on all of this stuff, so watch for that video. DPF back exhaust because emissions. We got one of the new Ram Air style diff covers, so that'll be sweet. We put one on Dustin's truck and he really likes it, so. How do you anticipate it? Good? Bad? Ugly? I, it's a new truck. I don't anticipate this going poorly at all.
All right, so it didn't take long for this super easy part of this install to go completely to sh and f us royally. This truck is three years old, it's 2018, it's 2021, and just living in the rust belt, this is what we deal with. So all three of these pressed in studs off of the DPF snapped off when we tried to take the exhaust off. And you can see, John can get a close up there, just how much is missing compared to how much bolt was there. So there's about half of that bolt was left holding that in there. We need to figure out how to get those studs out, which are rusted in there tight. Um, easiest way is gonna be to blow them out with the torch, except it's Friday afternoon and our tanks need to be refilled, which was something that you know was gonna be done Monday. We're just gonna leave this and um, move on to something else. This truck needs to leave Tuesday to get the wrap. It's going really, really well. Hopefully nothing in the rear end breaks while we take that apart. So you gotta pull that out and you gotta put it into the new no, one. No, that one will not come out. So we had to go buy a new one. Wow. Start it up, start it up, start it up. You know it's not gonna sound any different, right? It's the, oh. It's banked, so there's a bunch of signs behind it, but basically I think it just gets the gases out faster now that it's a larger diameter tailpipe to like keep the EGTs down. It's not crazy loud, but it is louder. Definitely feels like more power. Pull there. So the shifts are a little bit soft, but it's significantly quicker getting up to speed. We just got all the Banks Power uh, parts put on the truck yesterday uh, now today is time to take our new truck down to chicago down to sticker dude he's wrapped many trucks for us the nine line truck the k350 my truck uh i think there's a couple more i'm not really sure the ventador he's, oh yeah the ventador he's done a ton of work for us so it's time to give him another project we might even get to see uh the wrap design i'm not i'm not too sure and i'm not gonna promise that to you guys but maybe i'll see if i can sweet talk him. let's get to chicago Hey man. Come on in. Oh yeah, let's go see this thing. Alrighty guys, yeah, so this is gonna be the sneak peek. I don't think we've showed this yet. This is pretty crazy. So you're gonna have like a white theme, pull off into a black theme, uh, and that's just the wrap. Then you guys should see what we're doing with the custom painted wheels and everything. It's gonna be insane. But as we were talking before, it's gonna be custom front and rear bumpers. But instead of wrapping them, I think we're gonna powder coat the front bumper white to roll through with all of uh, the white on the front of the truck powder coat the black to flow with the back of the truck. As you guys can see in here, we do have the CO logo, we have the TIS logo, uh, Team TIS. They're gonna be doing a lot of work with us. Uh, so we got them on the wrap and uh, yeah, I think we have yeah CO on the back, uh, tailgate as well. This thing's gonna be insane. Sticker Dude's been phenomenal. He does custom one-off wraps, and we knew that we needed this to be, once again, another custom one-off, super like personalized, personable wrap that really represented us.
Alrighty guys, so it is the morning. We just got back to town with the truck. We're about to pull up in front of the whole company and show them the wrap and show them everything. Super excited, let's go show them. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, working with Sticker Dude, it was, it was awesome to be able to take the design concepts that we came up with. I mean, we worked with the team so hard to come up with the, the craziest design. And the fact that Sticker Dude could wrap that up for us uh, right in time, and then to be able to do the reveal in front of the entire company, it was just, it was something that was really special, you know what I mean? To be a part of and to have a little bit, a little piece in that and then see everybody, everybody's reaction, it just made it worthwhile. What's up guys, it's Lacey Blair with LB Motorsports and today I got in the Kelderman lift kit that I'll be powder coating for Custom Offset's new F350 build. So we're gonna unbox it, get it palleted up, palleted up, if that's a word, is that a word? Palleted, palletized! We're gonna get it palletized so that it is ready for sandblast and prep. So let's get into it. read first. Make sure you do that. Today we are powder coating the Kelderman kit for the custom offsets build and it is going polar white by Prismatic Powders. So let's get into it. All right guys, so we got the truck back. Obviously we did the performance stuff. It went down, it got most of the wrap done. So now it's back and we get to start ripping apart and do the cool stuff. So. Oh, we got some headlights. It's first. It's for sale. <laughs> Hundred thousand dollars. It also aged or uh, lost a lot of mileage and became new. I don't know who put that up there. Perfect. How's everything going in here? It's going. Are you doing Bluetooth axles? Bluetooth axles. Bluetooth drive shafts. It's, it's basically legendary. done. Legendary. Yeah. yeah. Hover car, first ever. All right, so what do we have for parts in? Uh, we got the air management for the Kelderman stuff. <laughs> read first. You got, Stop, you gotta read first. Oh, I'm sorry. Read first. All right, read it. Wow, we have a bunch of wires. Cool. No. So this is gonna be a 3H system, which is absolutely atrocious to put on cars. I'm hoping it's significantly easier to put on the truck. Cars don't come with any of this stuff. So they tell you where to put it on the bars. They tell you where to mount it on the truck. The cars, they're just like, here's some sensors and have fun. Oh, Figure it out. You guys need airlift layers. fittings? These are probably height sensors. It's gonna be my guess. Hey, look at that. Boom. There's your sensor. On here, goes to your four-link bar. Yeah. And then 
This tells you where your height is. Wow. So the management is all... That's a compressor system only. Oh, I see. It's just like wiring like eight rack lights times 10. So you got a compressor and an air dryer. There, thanks. There she is. Where are the bags? With the kit. Where? Oh. Yeah, the bags with the kit. Very well packaged. Good Very job. well packaged. Good job, Kelvin. Oh. Oh, damn. Hey. Do the the frame in the white. Yeah. The mesh in, in black. Black. Oh. Black. And then this under this because this plate goes Here. over, right? Then this plate we do in like the gray that is the okay. So the logo. no red on the front, huh? right? Because there is no red in the wrap on the front. So we're still waiting on the kit. Um, it could have been here two weeks ago, which would have been awesome. Uh, and then the new shipping that we got, uh, it was going to be here last week, Friday, at the latest. And then it was, oh, we got a little bit delay. It'll be here Monday. Uh, now it's Tuesday, and it's still not here. But they they say sometime tomorrow between 9 and 12, it'll be here. Um, so tomorrow's Wednesday, and the original deadline for this truck was literally a week from tomorrow, so next Wednesday. So that gives me four and a half business days to build an entire truck that we don't have anything for. So that kind of blows our deadline out of the water. actually just got the massive Kelderman kit back from Powder Coat from Lacey Blair and Zach and uh, we're gonna go grab the whole team it's a ton of parts so we need a ton of hands so we're gonna grab the whole custom offsets team everyone's gonna grab some pieces we're gonna lay it out so that way banker can start putting this thing on the truck let's go the Kelderman kit's here are you gonna open it yeah let's go open. you got come me on. on camera looking like I'm not doing come anything come you're on. not doing anything Cliff kit's here hey guys I know your meeting's probably important, but the lift kit's here. Let's go check it out. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. All right, everybody line up. We're going to make a disassembly line here. So what makes the uh, lift kit go up and down? Air compressor. Uh, nope. Air lines. Kind of. We have both we of those things. Bags. What holds the air? Yeah, like the thing that mounts up onto there, and onto there, and onto there, and onto there. We don't have airbags for our airbag lift kit. Take them out of the next semi that drops stuff off here. <laughs> that is not a bad idea. And we'll just, we'll just run just, semi bags. <laughs> just pull up and rattle them off with the impact. <laughs> we'll you take don't the no, 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 no. Off of Dusty's cat eye. To get a two inch lift kit inside of the 10 inches we're looking for. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's all we got. Sorry. Right. Banker, so what's happening now? We need to figure out where the bags are at. Yeah, we gotta figure out how we ended up with double the management and no bags. And the deadline is a week from today. For a kit that he's never installed before. Woo! Let's go! Big, seriously? Dude, what the f